In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys several Blender add-ons and tools that will help you when creating scenes and environments with roads and streets. If you're looking to make a large environment, but don't want to suffer through the process of making every asset on your own, then today's video is probably for you. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We're going to start with procedural alleys. We have talked about this one before, but it is really important. So we might as well go through it again. Procedural Alleys is a geometry nodes generator designed to help you create multiple types of alleys and customize them in a short period of time. That's why it is very popular. It comes with two different types of alleys, front and back alleys. Front alleys are usually bright and full of life because they have power lines and street lights. And back alleys are naturally dark or narrow alleys containing back stairs, pipelines, containers, and wires hanging between the two walls. What's so interesting about this tool is that it gives you full control and flexibility over your generated alleys. You can, for example, change the height and width of each alley in addition to the density and location of various assets. The assets included in this tool are very optimized and they are of high quality in order to be able to scatter many of them on your scene without losing performance. This add-on contains frontal windows, shops, doors, garages, air containers, air conditioners, curtains, walls, signs, sewers, and sidewalks alongside the assets I mentioned earlier and much more. Next we have Urbaniac streets, roads, and highways. And just like the name suggests, this can be your friend when creating roads and highways. It is essentially a standalone expansion that complements the really well-known and successful add-on Urbaniac City Asset Pack. This add-on comes with a library of over a hundred customizable high-quality assets for you to use for different cases. Making roads and highways using Urbaniac is great because it uses a modular system that allows you to easily place and modify your roads and sidewalks. You can easily adjust many attributes like curvature, inclination length, and you can even have an option to make elevated highways. Another handy feature is that this add-on offers the ability to control light, which gives you full customizability of your lights. And it works in real time with street, traffic, and building lights with parameters for intensity, quantity of lights turned on and off, and so on. What's more impressive is, for example, the ability to add snow, in addition to what surfaces and animated raindrops, to help you get the extra realism in your scene with almost zero efforts. This add-on also has a fully integrated library that works with Blender Asset Browser, making it very easy and effortless to drag and drop those assets into your scene. And if you want something for specifically creating roads and stuff, there is the Road Path Creator add-on. What this add-on does is it makes it really easy and simple to create a road simply by drawing a path. Using this add-on, I would say it is really simple. After installing it, you just need to select the desired preset. Then click on Draw Road and go into the Edit Mode, where you can simply draw any road path that crosses your mind and you will be mind blown by how well this add-on handles it. On a side note, a feature worth mentioning is that you have the ability to change the resolution of your road in case you are using a slower machine or if you want a smoother and rounder road. From what I can see, it gives you full customizability of your textures with settings to control normals, roughness, displacements, UV parameters and transformations. And if you are not satisfied with the built-in textures, you can also bring in your preferred PBR materials to use that instead. Now, if you want to generate those sweet light trails from cars at night, then you probably want to take a look at Light Trail Generator, which is a tool powered by geometry nodes that simply lets you convert custom curves into animated light trail effects. As simple as this tool may sound, Creating such an effect is incredibly complicated and time-consuming. But with this add-on, I think it is super easy to set up and you simply need to adjust the geometry node modifier and then copy-paste it in your scene. You have full control and flexibility over your trails, enabling you to adjust the shape, time, materials, trim, tilt, and noise displacement. With a lot of adjustable settings for you to fine-tune, like the trail amount, noise, timescale, 
emission, shape profile type, tilt offset and speed, and so much more. Another very nice feature that comes with this add-on, and I'm sure many of you want to use this option to make seamless loops over a certain period of time. You can also taper the ends of your trails for a more interesting look to your custom trails. This tool is compatible with both Cycles and EV and will require a 3.3 version of Blender or higher. Curves to Roads is also an add-on that allows you to generate roads from curves, I mean custom curves using geometry nodes. But what makes this tool different is that the roads comes with railings, in addition to lights and even rocks. And guess what? Since it uses geometry nodes, everything is fully customizable in the geometry node modifier. Starting from the road resolution and size, in addition to railing lights, width, size and post distance. And you can even change the lamp post count and offset distance. In addition to settings for controlling the scattering of rocks along the side of the road. This generator is basically a blender file that comes with a road preset. And in order to generate roads, you first need to go into the edit mode and either modify the existing curve or delete it and draw your own. So it is completely up to you. After you are done generating your road, you can simply copy and paste it into the scene and continue adjusting it in your project. It is also worth noting that all the assets come with PBR textures that you can easily replace with your own textures in the geometry node modifier. But we also have another geometry node generator for creating city roads to be specific. It comes with more than 80 customizable settings for you to tweak and adjust to your liking. City Road Maker comes with three different versions for you to choose from, Standard, Pro, and Unlimited. The Standard version offers a fair amount of control like road size, lanes, shoulders, patches, as well as line control for the type, number, and color. In addition to road size settings like type, size, and also lamp poles control for modifying their type, position, and lights. The Pro version includes all the controls I just mentioned, in addition to green belt and boxwood control for the side roads and also barrier control settings. And finally, the Ultimate version, which comes with all the previously mentioned customizations, in addition to a very nice tool for making road intersections, cross walls, and traffic lights. You can also scatter any asset of your liking, and you can do that on the side of the road with control over size, density, and more. But wait, there is even more, because we have Next Street, which is an add-on made for fast and easy generation of streets and cities inside Blender. It has many things that you can use to handle sidewalks, how the streets look, and controlling how your textures appear. This tool will help you create lifelike streets in a matter of just minutes, which is the point in the first place. The best feature of this add-on, I think, is simulations. This lets you simulate moving cars and traffic using a simple toggle, giving you a lot of control over the application of dynamic animations, which is very interesting. And if you're worried about the performance, then don't, because this add-on comes with a viewport proxy feature, which is important in a lot of cases, especially if you have a low-spec computer. And it works by only displaying objects that are within the camera's frame, which will drastically help the performance, especially if you're running a complex scene. Another feature that will help you with your performance is to bake the animations for fast viewport playback. And we can't forget about the customizability of the add-on because you have control over every little detail of your scene and streets, in addition to sidewalks, such as the profile, guardrails, material, grass bench, light, garbage, and so much more that you can explore. Another handy feature that this add-on offers is the ability to tweak your textures, making it very easy to add snow and wet surfaces simply by using a slider. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.